हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो एज यू कैन सी दैट टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सफ्टेस एंड डिजाइन इट इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द सफ्टेस एंड डिजाइन सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फेसिलिटीज ऑफ सफ्टेशन और द बेसिक ले आउट आउटलाइन ओके सो लेट्स बी इन दीडियो so in this video we will be seeing that a substation what are the facilities what are the uh, i mean the area will be demarcated inside a substation a substation shall be consist of what things in this video we will be discussing that and this will give you a basic layout outline okay so basically the layout guideline will which will be given here will be a very basic and very primitive type and we will be discussing in details later ओके सो व्हाट इज ए सबस्टेशन इफ वी ड्रॉ ए सिंगल लाइन डायग्राम सो बेसिकली द सबस्टेशन विल बी समथिंग व्हिच इज हाई वोल्टेज देन ट्रांसफार्मर देन लो वोल्टेज ओके सो दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक एलिमेंट ऑफ सबस्टेशन ओके इट इज कन्वर्टिंग ए वोल्टेज देयर मे बी अदर अदर लो वोल्टेज सिस्टम और अदर हाई वोल्टेज सिस्टम आल्सो बट दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स ओके सो नाउ दिस हाई वोल्टेज थिंग्स कैन बी of in the range of 400 kv or it can be in the range of 6.6 kv okay so uh, uh, so as i have already mentioned in my earlier video that what are the equipment used for this kind of voltage level for 66 kv 33 kv 66 kv 132 kv and above it may be outdoor switch yard or gis and for below 33 kv and below this is metal clad switch gear which is indoor type okay so you can see that for high voltage system there may be switch yard outdoor switch yard or it could be gis okay and for the other voltage level mb and lv it shall be metal clad switch board metal clad switch gear okay so a transformer shall be consisting of what if it is outdoor there shall be a switch yard if it is gis then there shall be a gis room a room for gis okay so a substation should have a switch yard or a gis if it is it has extra high voltage system that is voltage high of 66 kv and above then it shall have uh, metal clad switch gear room okay room for the installation of the switch gears so this switch gear can be in the range of 3.3 kv 6.6 kv 11 kv 33 kv or 415 volt whatever it may be then there shall be a transformer yard okay so where the outdoor transformers will be kept transformer yard so here the outdoor transformer that is the oil type transformers will be kept then inside the substation building there shall be battery room for housing the batteries okay so this is mainly required for lead acid battery lead acid battery this room is required in case it is a valve regulated lead acid battery vrl or sealed maintenance free battery then separate battery room is not required okay there shall be a ups room okay then there shall be control room control room or substation automation system room crp room crp means control relay panel okay so crp room why required so, so if this is switch yard or gis the relays are not installed uh, we cannot install the relay outdoor for switch yard and gis inside the gis we also cannot install the relay so we need to consider a separate relay panel control relay panel so that has to be installed somewhere okay then there are some other additional uh, rooms like maintenance room say maintenance room then there comes store room as this control room crp room sas room these are main room so you will need toilet okay then you will need pantry for some tea and snack service okay so these things are uh, consisting these uh, facilities are present inside a substation uh, substation okay so in case if we try to draw an outline so how it will be look like so suppose we are considering a the substation with a switch yard okay so say this area is kept for outdoor switch yard so this is outdoor switch yard 
then here you can keep the transform yard okay so this is set trafo yard here you will keep all your outdoor transformer then you consider a substation building okay say this is the substation building so in this building you will have this facility switch gear room facility number 2 transformer yard is this one say this is transformer yard and this is switch yard so this is facility number 1 a here you will be giving battery room then ups room then control room then crp room maintenance room store room toilet pantry etc so all this will be housed inside this building you have to make the layout in such that way and in case it is having a high cable so you can make it a two storied or three storied building where you can use the ground floor as cable cellar room okay so this building will something looks like so if i draw a section from here if i draw a cross section from here this building will look something like this so this is the ground floor this ground floor will be having cable cellar room and this is the first floor okay so here there will be the metal clad switch gear switch boards okay so so here there are two switch boards i am drawing say and uh, here uh, we have to install the cable trays for cabling work okay so so these are the cable trays are installed here i will be discussing these things later in our uh, layout section here i am just giving you the concept so this ground floor is cable cellar room this is the switch gear room switch gear room okay uh, so this is two storied building you can make a building uh, as three storied here you can install the battery room ups room control room etc that will depend on the plot plan how the area is available you have to justify the layout okay now in instead of this uh, uh, switch yard if it is a, a gis room then your this building portion will increase a little bit okay this will be your in a, a most uh, i mean area savings uh, will be there if it is a, a gis instead of a switch yard so suppose this building room will have a certain portion for gis okay generally the crp of gis are kept in front of the gis so here you have to give the crp room okay and in the uh, rest of the area you can facilitate the other facilities the switch gear room the transformers here you can install the outdoor transformer so keep this portion as the outdoor yard so make it transformer yard okay and here you install the uh, other the switch gears so let we install the switch gears like this way and uh, the ground floor this is say this is the uh, plan of uh, first floor the ground floor will be cable cellar room and uh, make a two storied building the second floor you install the control room the ups room battery room etc okay generally this ups room control room crp room these rooms are made with a false floor okay false floor and false ceiling so purpose of false ceiling is to look it aesthetically beautiful purpose of false floor is that you can uh, make easy cabling below the floor level okay because these have a small cable so when it is uh, above the ground i mean it, it is in the uh, second floor then you cannot run cable through here so you need to raise the floor above so suppose you are making a false floor at this level so you can run your cable below the false floor not hampering the uh, architecture of the uh, its uh, adjacent floor okay so this is how a basic substation layout works and these are the facilities these are the areas which you need to consider to design a substation layout okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have liked please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications of our video thank you very much for watching this video